And one of the charges leveled against CAA is that it is discriminatory, that it privatizes so, like, non-Muslims over other religions, namely Hindus, Christians, Sikhs, uh, Buddhists, Parsis and Jains. And there are some who argue that Rohingyas, Ahmadiyas and even Shias have faced discrimination and hence they should also be welcomed. What is your so opinion? So let me on answer it? the discrimination point, which is the second point which you raised, constitutional legality. Constitutional legality is discrimination under the Constitution doesn't mean everybody has to be given the same. Correct? We pay different rates of tax depending on income. That's not discrimination. The, the people below a particular income level are given so many things which are not given to others. We should be today an ideal welfare state. Look at the Nordic states. Finest education is free. All, all health care is free. Won't India want to do that? Of course, someday we want to do that. But today, you have to be below a particular income level, you give it, because it's a question of resources. What the argument of discrimination is that if you make, if you differentiate between people, this is what we constitutional lawyers call overclassification. That if there are people of the same class who are being left out of a benefit being given, then you call it discrimination. For this, it becomes very necessary to define a class. The principle is, if you make a differentiation, differential treatment, that must have a nexus with the object to be achieved. What is the class? The class is minorities in Islamic states, the three neighboring Islamic states. That's the class. What is the object to be achieved? That minorities in an Islamic state are by definition, hmm. by definition of theocratic states, treated differently from majorities, from the state religion. So that's the class and the object sought to be achieved is these are minorities of Indian ethnicity who are discriminated against by definition. And therefore we fit them in. So the Objects are to be achieved is to fit in the minorities of these three neighboring states and the class is minorities of these three. It subserves the object. So it's perfectly constitutionally permissible in my point of view. Now, let's deal with the Rohingya or the Ahmadiyya argument. Yes. <clears throat> yes, it is possible that even within a theocratic state, hmm. in the state religion, people are treated differently. But can you deny the fact that in a state religion, there is a state religion and there is a religion which is not encouraged by the state. In fact, which is discouraged by the state. These are two. These are the classification. We are not fixing the problems of the Islamic faith. It, we would be stepping out of line if we were to do that. How would somebody like if Pakistan said, you know, certain communities in, in Hindus are not properly treated in India. We will give them free citizenship and we will give them money. We'll just don't poke your nose in our affairs. Islam is a religion. And if Islam is not being properly administered, it is for the Islamic people of Islamic faith to fix that. Uh, is India going to sit? Are we, are we playing America? We are getting into Pakistan and saying, uh, we know you're an Islamic state, but you know what? You're not truly Islamic because you treat certain parts of Islam differently from other parts of Islam. Is that our place? Is it our place to say that? So I don't understand this argument. The Rohingya is a completely different problem. The Rohingya, Rohingyas or Bangladeshis who were imported into Burma, most of our problems are created by the old British colonial Raj. The British colonial Raj got these poor Bangladeshis to work in Burma. Burma says go back to Bangladesh. That's a territorial problem between two of them. They happen to be Muslims because they are Bangladeshis. Should we open our border to all? I wish, I wish God had endowed us with the resources to wipe every tear from every eye. But Article 14 doesn't say unless you can wipe every tear from every eye, don't wipe any tears at all.